Welcome to the Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware and this is Gerald Blaine. Today we're going to kind of do a generic discussion about PPM, parts per million. We look forward to being with you. All right, well, Gerald, just want to talk real quick about PPM. I thought about it the other day, and it's like you hear that term all the time. Um, mm -hmm. And really just thought, let's just chat about what it is and you know how it's made in, in, inside of a combustion uh, burner. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, PPM is a calculation. It lets you know how much of any particulates are in some sort of a solution, whether it's a volume or a mass. So mm -hmm. it's parts per million. What is the particulate? Well, it, it, greenhouse gas and, and, and getting green and lowering emissions is a big thing now. Mm -hmm. So CO2, uh, NOx, those things are, are in our atmosphere. Uh, air is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and then the other 1% are these other trace element gases, whether it be CO2, you could have NOx in the air, uh, different things like that, even, even pollen. All those things make up that other 1%. Right. Um, one of the big greenhouse gases they're trying to reduce is CO2, but it's, it's also made naturally uh, from the environment, from mm -hmm. whether the oceans produce it, rocks produce it, rotting uh, vegetation, but volcanoes, anything like that. Poop. Yeah, all, the, all those <laughs> things that would ferment. Yeah. Um, and in the atmosphere today, it's about 412 uh, ppm mm -hmm. in just under our normal atmosphere. Okay. So, but then there's a lot of unnatural things that do it that we're trying to control, whether it be a combustion burner, an engine, uh, anything like that. Mm -hmm. So the PPM is literally uh, how many parts per million of some trace element in some other solution, whether it be by va mass or volume. So in the right. case of uh, a combustion, we measure parts per million. This happens to be a 30 PPM burner as far as NOx go. Okay. So, and NOx are made uh, thermally uh, by combusting uh, the, the oxygen mm -hmm. and then converting it over to, to NOx. And so what we do here is try to cool the flame, get the, get the NOx levels down. And so the PPM, the 30 parts that are in there, are a comparison to the total volume of exhaust. Okay. Okay. So we're trying to produce less man-made. There's plenty of natural. And it's, it's a necessary mm -hmm. thing to have. Mm -hmm. We're trying to reduce greenhouse gas. We're trying to not over uh, use CO2, but it's required because plants actually breathe. They eat the CO2, they consume it. Okay. And then uh, humans, we, we exhaust CO2. Right. So it's a product of exhaust. It's a, it's a product of using oxygen and then exhausting it. Right, so. right. Well, as, as far as the burners go okay mm -hmm. when they when we started saying hey let's get down to 30 ppm what were we actually doing when we were taking older burners and using the burner to get it to 30 30 ppm well the way this one operates is we pull back flue gas okay so it sounds contradictory but what it actually does is cools the flame okay which is fgr so right. flue gas recirculation is right. what that is so we're actually cooling the flame to control the thermal nox levels mm -hmm. Uh, it does apply a little bit less efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, this one happens to be a real low level of flue gas to accomplish the go. Mm -hmm. Most of them have higher levels of flue gas, which makes them overall inefficient. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to lower NOx, keep the fuel efficiency down, because if we don't burn more gas, we're also lowering uh, CO2 emissions and overall NOx emissions as well. Okay. So obviously they're taking it down even further 15 getting it down into five right. some two and a half what what's the deal with that what are they actually doing for that we got the uh, fgr but what else yeah is going some on? are doing it on the back end where they're cleaning it with uh scr scrs mm -hmm. and they'll just do the cleanup at, on the back side which right. To some degree is is better because we're not uh making this more inefficient right most low nox technologies are quite a bit inefficient. Okay. So you use more gas overall, which is kind of contradictory to the plan. Right. Uh, so we've been trying not to do that on the front end, uh, but on the back end, they do clean up with an SCR and, and that's how they do it. The big coal plants, they have lots of 
different systems for cleaning off all the uh, emissions coming out there. Right, and, and to actually take it down into the single digits, though, you're really cooling, cooling the flame, yep. uh, whether you're using a different type of a mesh burner and right. you know things like that, correct? Yep. Okay. yep. Well, appreciate Gerald hanging out with us. Now, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about PPM, there's a couple ways you can do it. One, you can actually come to Boiler University and take our, our, our classes. We have some 101s, 201s, com combustion classes, as well as you can do um, some online classes. Another is that you could go to uh, Boiler 2022, and it's coming up in April, and make sure that you go uh, and sign up and register and get down to that, down into uh, Dallas, Texas. Um, be a lot of great information down there, the seminars as well as just Everything about steam and, and, and hot water, of course, a lot of boiler manufacturers there, rental companies, that type of thing, that's going to be there. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, please share those videos. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.